Hi everyone, today we are going to see how the offset function works in Excel. Interestingly, it has very less use of its own, but if combined with other functions in Excel, it can be extremely useful. Remember, it's a complex formula and can be hard to understand, so let's just dive in. This is the formula breakdown. The offset function takes five arguments. First one is reference, which is a starting point. The second one is number of rows to move down or move up. Third is number of columns to move left or right. And then we have height and width. They are in square brackets, which means they are optional and can only be used if required. So height, since rows has height, therefore this represents height. And columns have width, therefore this represents columns. To understand this function better, let us take a look at this example. So these are the five arguments. First one is starting point. So right now our starting point is A1, which is this. And number of rows we want to move down. If you do not want to move down, it will be zero. And then columns, the number of columns you want to move left. Again, if you don't want to move, you can mention zero. Height and width, they cannot be 0. At minimum, they will be 1. So let's, let us just take, it, uh, take a look at it practically. So for example, our starting point is A1. And I want to reach to E3. I just highlight. So from A1 to E3. So how many rows I want to move down and how many columns I want to move left to reach to to get to E E4 sorry it's not E3 E4 so number of rows to move down 0 1 2 3 3 rows and number of columns to move left 0 1 2 3 4 And what is the usage of height and width? Let's say I mention 3 over here. So, 3 rows are in our range. And width, as I mentioned earlier, it represents columns. So, let's say I mention 2 over here. So, it covers 2 columns. So, any data that will be available in the cells will be within our range by using this argument. So let's say we want to move rows up or move columns to right. So since our starting point is A1 right now and there are no rows above it and no columns to its right, therefore the formula will give error. So let's assume we are starting at L7. So I'll change the reference point to L7. And I want to move 4 rows up. So I will mention minus 4. And if I want to move 3 columns right, I will mention minus 3. And likewise for height and weight, let's say I mention minus 2 and minus 2 again. So this is how you enter your arguments according to your requirements. So let us understand that these are hard coded numbers. So what if you want to make it dynamic? So in order to make it dynamic, you will have to combine offset formula with different Excel functions. So let us take a look at one pr practical example. So this is our data having month-to-month -month sales generated through different social media platforms. And we want year-to-date sum of each of these rows. Now you might be thinking that this can be done through some formula.
which is correct but what if our requirement changes and we need data from Jan to March so we will have to manually change it And again later on let's say if our requirement changes and now the data is required from Jan to June we will again have to expand this we want to avoid this practice and make it more dynamic therefore we will be combining some formula with offset and there is one uh, one more formula called rows in case you are not aware of it let me quickly explain so what rows does it counts the number of rows within a spe specified range So since there is only one row in the range, therefore the result is 1. If I drag it, now there are two rows in the range. If I drag it down further, now there are 1, 2, 3, 4 rows in the range. Therefore the result is 4. So let us take a look how we will embed this in the formula. So sum because we need the sum of this offset and reference which is the starting point let's take it C5 and for rows uh, we do not want to mention it manually for each of these rows therefore we will be using the rows formula that we just looked at. columns we do not need therefore we will mention 0 height again not needed therefore we will skip it and width is this so we want uh, you know sum of specified number of months therefore we will be using months function to pick the month from this date and now when I drag this the result is this okay what now if I need data from Jan to March I will simply change the month to 3 and now the result is 150 and again if I need this from Jan to September let's say I will simply change the month to 9 I hope this clarifies much of your confusion so let's move on and take a look at one more example so this is the table having revenue for each year for all of these social media platforms and I want average or of, of all of these years now what if I add one more row over here and I put a value let's say 500 it does not calculate and I will manually have to update the formula so now we will be combining average with offset here average offset reference point is this C10 rows I want one row above the reference point therefore I will mention minus one 
columns height width they are not required therefore I will just skip it now if I add a row over here and I mention value it automatically calculates so you just need to be more creative and use different functions combined with offset just uh, you know play around with it and I, I'm pretty sure that uh, you'll be able to understand it even better I hope I was able to clarify much of your confusions and concepts if you have any question you can comment and I will try to answer thank you so much